Hello everyone. Microsoft has recently announced that SSH connections using Bastion will now support Entra ID authentication. This is the screenshot of the announcement where the Microsoft has shown the main benefit that users will experience a one-click sign-on. However, this feature is in public preview right now and soon it will be generally available because it's a very important security feature. So now using the Bastion, there are multiple authentication options for the Linux VM which is specifically for SSH. Either you can provide the username and the password, which you can just type in, or the password using the Azure Key Vault. You can save the password as the secret in Azure Key Vault. And if you have the proper permissions on your user, and then you can reference that secret in the connect page of virtual machine. You can even use the SSH private key from the local file and the same SSH private key can be used using the Azure Key Vault secrets. And the final, which is the most important is the Microsoft Entra ID authentication, which is in preview. And using this feature, you get a single sign-on experience. So once you have logged in into the Azure portal, so now if your user has the proper permissions, then using the Microsoft Entra ID authentication, you don't need to log in again. You just have to click and you will be logged in into the Azure Virtual Machine. However, for this option to work, there are some prerequisites, which I'll show you using the step-by-step -step implementation in the lab. I'm logged into Azure portal now, and let's start with the creation of the virtual machine. Azure virtual machine. So this is the subscription which I'm using. Let's create a new resource group, RG Beston. Virtual machine name is test VM 001 region Australia East availability options availability zone and let Azure select the availability zone. I'll use the Ubuntu server. You can use any Linux server. And for the size, I'm just going with the minimum size standard B2S. And let's provide the username and password. So Azure user and password I'm providing. I don't want any inbound public ports because I'll not be assigning the public IP to this virtual machine. Done. So it will just create an OS disk networking. I'll use an existing virtual network. And for the public IP, I'll select as none. And there'll be no public inbound ports and no load balancing option. I just want to create a virtual machine and want to see how can I connect using the best in where the Entra ID authentication has to happen. Management. So now if I'll talk about the prerequisites required for Entra ID authentication, the first one is that you need to check this option where you will log in using the Microsoft Entra ID while creation of the virtual machine. If you have an existing virtual machine, you can enable this feature too. So I'll remove the auto shutdown, monitoring, no changes here, no changes in advanced options, review and create and create. So what this option will do, it will create an extension into the virtual machine. And I'll pause the video now and we'll be back once this virtual machine and its resources are created. Deployment is completed successfully now. And if I'll open the deployment details, first it created, I'll just refresh it. First it created the NSG, then the network interface card, and then virtual machine is created. And finally, an extension is added with the name AAD SSH login for Linux. So if I'll go to the virtual machine and go to settings and extension, you can see that extension is provisioned successfully with the name AAD SSH login for Linux. So using this extension, Microsoft uses the role-based access control of your user and login into the virtual machine. And I've already created the Beston service. So if I'll go to connect and go to Beston. So now you can see, you can provide the username and password and you can connect. However, if you'll drop down in the authentication options, there is no option for Entra ID. 
and the reason is there is another prerequisite which is that your user should have either the virtual machine admin login or user login permissions assigned so if i'll go to access control add the role assignment search for virtual machine and there are two options one is virtual machine administrator login or the user login so based on your requirement you have to select one so i am just selecting the virtual machine administrator login next now select your user i'll just quickly select my user select next review and assign and assign so the role is added now let's quickly refresh this and go to bastion and perfect now you can see instead of four options now there are five and microsoft enter id authentication it's coming as the default option once both the prerequisites are fulfilled you will start seeing the microsoft enter id authentication option in the bastion tab so the first option is you need to enable login using microsoft enter id which will add an extension to the virtual machine and another option is to pro and provide the virtual machine user login or administrator login permissions to the user so now if i click on connect it will just quickly connect directly without even providing the username and password and here you go now i am into the virtual machine host name that's vm001 to summarize this video first i have explained what is microsoft enter id authentication option for azure bastion which is in public preview and then showed a step by step demo where we have to first fulfill the prerequisites and then deploy the virtual machine and the bastion service and then start a ssh connection using the microsoft enter id authentication where we don't need to log in into the virtual machine again a single sign on will work here So that's all for this video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.